All right, so this is your first video introduction to trigonometry. And when we first study trigonometry, we look at trigonometry as it relates to right triangles. So we have to learn how to identify things within right triangles to do that appropriately. So when I have this right triangle ABC here, where C is the right angle, which side is the hypotenuse? Well, we've talked about this before. Hypotenuse is always across from the 90 degree angle, which is C. So the hypotenuse would be across from C, which would be side AB. Sometimes we call that opposite. When there's a side that doesn't touch an angle that's opposite the angle, uh, so that is the hypotenuse. Anybody who's opposite the right angle is the hypotenuse. Which side, other known as leg, is adjacent to A? Well, if opposite means across from the angle, adjacent means it touches the angle. So I have two things that touch angle A. I have AB, but that's already the hypotenuse, and AC, so AC is the leg that is adjacent to A. Which leg is opposite from A? So opposite from A brings me over here, that's CB. Which leg is adjacent to B? Now if I do everything in terms of B now, here's B. Adjacent to B means it touches B. That's either going to be CB or AB. But AB is the hypotenuse, so that's not considered the adjacent side. And which leg is opposite from B? Well that would be this one, which is CA. In other words, when we have a right triangle, we can label the sides using the words opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse. But you need to know that this is always the hypotenuse and can never be considered opposite or adjacent. These two sides are the opposites and adjacent sides depending on which angle you're talking about. So we use those words a lot, so you need to be familiar with them. Within right triangles, we use ratios of opposite sides and the hypotenuse, a ratio of the adjacent side and the hypotenuse, and ratios of opposite sides versus adjacent sides. And we've actually named them, well, we haven't, some mathematicians a long time ago did. They started naming them. They said, you know what? We find that we end up comparing the opposite side to the hypotenuse a lot. So the quotient of opposite divided by hypotenuse is called the sine of an angle. So the sine of A is the leg opposite A divided by its hypotenuse, and we reduce that down to sine A equals opposite over hypotenuse. For cosine, cosine is the ratio of the adjacent to the hypotenuse. So cos A equals adjacent divided by hypotenuse. And for tangent, Tangent is the leg opposite divided by leg adjacent, so we call tangent opposite over adjacent. We're going to use sine, cosine, and tangent to solve a lot of things eventually, and to do those solutions we have to remember what goes with what. So there's the mnemonic device SOKATOA. Sine equals opposite over hypotenuse, so ka, cosine equals adjacent over hypotenuse, and TOA, tan equals opposite over adjacent. All right, now how do we do that? Well, what we're just going to do right now is get used to setting up the fractions. So when we want to set up these fractions, if I have triangle PQR, all of the opposite and adjacent designations, we'll call them, have to do with your perspective. So if I say, let's look at the 53.2 degree angle, that's this guy. I'm going to make that guy my perspective. So I am literally going to draw a little eyeball here. Do, 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 do. And we'll make it a blue eyeball. It's got to have a pupil. There we go. So there's my blue eyeball. If 53.2 is my perspective, sine is the ratio of 53.2's opposite side with the hypotenuse. So from this perspective, the opposite is the 4, and the hypotenuse is whatever's across from the right angle, which in this case is 5. So the sine of 53.2 is 4 fifths. Cosine, you're going to compare the adjacent to hypotenuse. So if I again look from 53.2, the adjacent side is the one that touches it, that's going to be 3, and the hypotenuse is what it was, which is 5. So the cosine of 53.2 equals 3.5. And then last but not least, we have tangent. Tangent is when we compare opposite to adjacent. So opposite is 4, adjacent is 3. 
So the tangent of 53.2 is 4 over 3. Now we're going to change our perspective, and I'm going to take my eyeball here, and I'm going to move it up there, and say now my perspective is going to be from the 36.8. So if I go from here, and I'm using my eyeball, now all of a sudden, this is the opposite side, this is the adjacent side, and this is, as it was, the hypotenuse. So if I want the sine of 36.8, I want to divide the opposite by the hypotenuse. So opposite 36.8 is 3, the hypotenuse is 5. Adjacent over hypotenuse will give me cosine, adjacent to 36.8 is 4, Hypotenuse is still 5. And tangent is opposite over adjacent. Opposite is 3. Adjacent is 4. And that's really all there is to it, is you just write fractions that represent opposite over hypotenuse, opposite over adjacent, or adjacent over hypotenuse. So let's come down here and fill in this table. So in the triangle below, we've got E and D, sine D. Okay, so sine, so, ka, Toa. Sine D would be the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse looking from angle D. So opposite divided by hypotenuse, opposite D is 4. Hypotenuse is across from the right angle, 7. Cosine D. Well, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent is root 33. Hypotenuse is still 7. And then tangent is opposite divided by adjacent. And that is going to be opposite D is 4. Adjacent to D is root 33. Uh-oh, I've got a radical on the bottom. But fortunately, we get via this little disclaimer, we do not have to rationalize the denominators. So we're just going to leave that alone and pretend it never happened. All right, so now looking from the perspective of E. So now if I come up here, now opposite is the root 33. Adjacent is the 4, and hypotenuse is still 7. So sine, so, is opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite root 33, hypotenuse 7. Cosine, ka, adjacent over hypotenuse. The guy next to it, 4, hypotenuse still 7. And then this says tan D. There's a typo. This should say tan E, so do me a favor, fix that on your sheet. Sorry about that. Tan E should be opposite divided by adjacent. Opposite E is root 33, and adjacent is 4. And there you go. Fletcher was not paying attention to class. How could that possibly happen? Fletcher, Fletcher, Fletcher. Fletcher was not paying attention to class, and he didn't finish writing the table for the right triangle diagram. Uh-oh. And he's got P and Q, and they're in a right triangle. We have to now use this chart to create a diagram. Well, we can do that. So it's got P and Q here, and it says P is the measure of angle P, so that's going to be this guy here. Mrs. Weber, how do you know that P isn't the right angle? Well, because when we do SOHCAHTOA, you always do SOHCAHTOA on the acute angles, not on the right angle. Reason being, if I did SOHCAHTOA using a 90 degree angle, when I try to do opposite over hypotenuse, opposite the 90 degree angle is going to be the hypotenuse. So I'm going to have hypotenuse over itself, and that just gets really confusing. So we do not do SOHCAHTOA using the right angle ever, all right? So P is going to be one angle, and Q is going to be the other, and I don't know what this is. We'll just call it R to have a right angle in there. So sine P is opposite over hypotenuse. So that might indicate that this fraction is telling me the opposite side is 11 and the hypotenuse is root 157. So let's give that a shot. Opposite, 11, hypotenuse, root 157. And then it tells me that the tangent of P, which is opposite over adjacent, TOA, tan P is 11 over 6. So opposite is 11. Well, that still works. Adjacent is 6. That seems to work too. And if I check to make sure that this makes an actual right triangle, 11 squared plus 6 squared, does that equal 157? Let's find out. 11 squared is 121. 36, yep, that's 157. So this is a legit right triangle. So there's the diagram. Then we just have to complete the table. So now that I have the diagram, cosine, so 
that's an O, ka, toa. So sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and we're dealing with P right now. So adjacent to P is the 6. The hypotenuse is the square root of 157. And there you go. And then for Q, we're going to go through and do the whole thing. So Q, sine, opposite Q divided by hypotenuse. Opposite Q, 6. Hypotenuse, still root 157. Q, cosine, adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent to Q, 11. Hypotenuse, still root 157. And then tangent, tangent of Q should be opposite over adjacent. So opposite Q, we're going to have a 6. And adjacent to Q, we're going to have an 11. So that is a whole bunch of basics on how SOHCAHTOA works. Um, if you look ahead, we're going to do a little bit more here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to save that for class. We'll go over a couple together in class, uh, and then you will be able to start your problem set. So enjoy the rest of your day, evening, whatever it happens to be, and we will talk soon. Uh, so I need to give you a joke here. So the joke for the day is how do you get straight A's? With a ruler. <laughs>